This road is bad news, people. We heard you twice the first time. Nobody's been on this road for 30 years, remember? Hi, this is the Professional Amateur Hour coming to you with another review. This week, I checked out Route 666. And this 2001 movie was directed by William Wesley and stars Lou Diamond Phillips, Laurie Petty, and Stephen Williams, among others, of course. The story of this movie follows this team of witness protection officers as they have to go collect a witness and then bring him back to California. So they go find him and there's a little shootout involved and whatnot. And they decide to take Route 666 as a shortcut back to California. However, there are some ghosts on Route 666 that haunt the highway. So what will happen exactly? You'll have to watch the movie and find out. All right, so let's discuss what works with this movie. Well, I actually enjoyed it quite a bit. I thought it was really fun. I thought the story was pretty fun. It starts off as an action movie and there's like this big shootout and whatnot. And then they go into like a ghost story and there's like a cemetery and then the ghosts show up and start chasing them and everything. And so I think it is just a lot of fun. Like a lot of just, you know, fun stuff happens. Ghost attack, assassin attack, you know. And so lots of things that go into it that, you know, just makes it an overall fun adventure. In addition, I thought the ghosts were fun. I thought them showing up with their like chain gang and one of them has like a jackhammer and stuff. I thought that was lots of fun, just seeing them around uh, chasing these guys. Also with the ghosts, it's all like daytime ghosts as well. So they're all like really well lit. So they're not really scary, but that just adds to their fun, right? Adds to them just, you know, coming down on you on, on the road. So definitely lots of fun with the ghosts. Also, I thought there was some pretty fun kills in this one. Uh, one of the ghosts has like a jackhammer. So he's like jackhammering people to death. And I thought that was fun. The assassins, you know, they're all wearing like bulletproof vests and everything. And so it's, you know, tricky to get, you know, bullets in, into their chest, but they have to, you know, figure out some way to do it. And that is fun as well. So maybe I can clip some in for you. And that brings me to what doesn't work with this film. Well, every time you see the ghosts, they are in daylight, so you know, they're not scary. But then it has this other thing where like anytime the ghosts are around the characters, the, the film starts to get like chopped up in like this strange manner. It's kind of like David Lynch and I would say, like they definitely like take out frames and then double other th th frames and whatnot. And it's just very distracting when, when, it's, when it's on screen. So maybe I can clip some in for you. And so you can see every time it does that, like it's just distracting to, to what is on the screen. I would think it would be fine, like just having, you know, the regular ghost attack. But as it is, yeah, that's just so distracting every time you see the ghosts. Also, there are some plot twists that are very obvious once certain details come out. Like you'll be able to guess them within like 10 seconds of certain details being exposed to you. In addition, there's some like background characters I didn't really care for. I thought they were just kind of like poorly written, but you know, there's just some things on the periphery that, you know, can take away from the movie, but I thought in general, you know, it was pretty fun. So it is what it is, I guess. So who would I recommend this movie for? Well, I think if you're just looking for a fun ghost story, yeah, sure. Turn this one on. It's, it's definitely like of its time, or I guess not of its time. It's like a 2001 movie, but it's like very 90s. And so yeah, just a fun ghost story with some action. So if that seems like it would be something you like, yeah, find it, turn it on, why not? As for rating, I gotta give it the halfway decent score of five. And having said that, I think that's all I wanted to say. So like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.